Hello, amazing people. Welcome. My name is Jamako. I'm here weekly to show you some tips on how to go about your designs, be it invites, party flyers, brochure, what have you, using Photoshop. Today I want to show you some tips on how to go about designing this amazing party invites using Photoshop. Without much, let's get into it. First, I'll go to my new create my page size 1080 pixels 1080 pixels in height and width so my resolution I'll keep it at 200 and create so the first thing I'll do is to bring out a picture that I'll use for my background so I place the picture drag and drop so expand this so if I have this image I want to use as my background you can see this pic picture contains some colors so I'm going to use the blur effect on this filter tab here I'll go to blur Gaussian blur I'll use that effect to create my background so you can see the effect You can see how I used it for my background. So let's go on. So after that, I want to make it look more darker. So I'm going to draw using my shape tool. So after that, I'll place gradient tool then I create a layer max here yeah? so I can make use of the gradient tool on this so you can see the dark part of my my rectangle so I'll adjust it a little bit up so the next thing I'll do is to type so let me type the, the headings. So I'll use TW send MT, that's the name of the font. So I'll type the name of the host and the Maxi Lounge. Maxi Lounge presents. Let me change this to a white color. So now I'll give it a space in between my lasers. So if that's I'll scale it down a little bit. If that is okay, so the next thing I'll do is to bring in this sign, 18 plus. So mind you, these steps I'm taking, yours might be different. You might start by bringing your main image. You might start by typing your information before applying your designs your characters and text different ways you can approach this design so now the next now we're doing is to bring in this image that i'll be using you can see this is the old school party old school party so let me pull out the background so I'll right click rasterize the image and i'll have this quick action to remove the background so i'll click on the background and photoshop will try its possible best to bring out the background 
separate the background from the main image so let's wait for it to do so boom you can see our background is up so we scale this a little bit so let me convert this so that i can easily carry and scale so now sometimes our our canvas may be too small for our details to go in so you may want to expand your page so we have ways of doing it you can come under image and the canvas size you can come here and adjust but sometimes i just hit c on my keyboard to expand my page so if i expand a little bit See, if you are okay with that, you click OK. But now you can see I just expanded my page. Let me scale this down a little bit. So now, what I'll be doing, I'll, I'll take this uh, behind my shape so I to go behind, and the next thing I'll do. I want to blend this image to my background. So click on the image, create a max, use your brush tool. You can use your gradient tool. You can probably use your brush tool. Click the opacity. Make sure black is at the foreground. Then you just brush through to blend in into your background and see that blend here so the next thing i want to do is to type in another text so i'm going to be using the text uh, it's called power chord power chord you type old Old cool old. So let me scale the space within and adjust. So you can see so if you are satisfied with the size you will let go there. So the next thing I'll hold my alt and drag my keyboard and it will give me a duplicate so double click and type school uh, you can scale this too so now what i'll do next is to apply some effects to this my text or you can type in Anyway, anyhow you feel like doing it, you can type in the remaining text, uh, the remaining information you have. So let me scale this like that. So I'll be bringing in another image, this silver gradient here. And I'll be clipping it into this old. So you hold your alt key coming between the image and hold so you click so to get this image you just go to pngwing.com and search for silver silver effects you you see you can search for gold anyone you want to use just go to png wings and you get that so now I'll still bring another one. I'll bring another one for my school. I want to place it into the school. So I'll 
click in between school by holding alt on my keyboard and you have that so now we have that effect there let me right click and change the direction of these also right click flip horizontal so now let me place um i like giving my text some shadows so drop down shadow to at least give it a special look so you can see that effect on my text so let's go on so the next test i'll be typing um i'm going to be using black black sword to type my party want to party party <clears throat> so now i will adjust so you can see that text wonderful text the font side type is black sword you can see the name black sword so let me change the color i'll pick a color that close to the uh, the outfit here let me pick a color from here so i'm picking that color nice you can see our design is popping so the next thing i'll be doing let me add some great uh, contrast to this uh, image here. So right click there, increase the contrast. You can see the difference before, after. You can see that contrast on that uh, image, making it pop. So now, the next thing I'll be doing is to type in my dates so i can place the date in some style let me use my outline tree and use white then you can draw so now this is my 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 shape here i'll come here and scale it the edges yeah you can see i'll place my text in there so the next thing i'll be doing is to hit the text and using this stretch pro the stretch pro that's the text the name of that uh, font stretch pro so we have this text amazing fonts um february 14th that's the date so you can see what is happening if i hit the font enable your text to stretch if i hit b two times you see what happens if it hit a twice you see so if you want to stretch your text just hit the later the number of times you want it to stretch so you have it i think it's twice i think three times four four times that you can stretch so what I want to stretch is the E. So I hit E twice and B. So that's February 14th. February 14th. So I'll come here, scale this into the into my box here. Yeah? 
and I pick the 14th uh, scale as well. So you can see that. So type your time, 9 p.m. You can see, align your text. So basically, our design is done. Just a couple of additional text. So there's one effect I'm going to be bringing in. So I'll use this, just blend my, my design, make it pop. You can see. It's coming with a dark background so i'll use my blend mode here to just apply the screen blend mode you can see it has pulled out the black from the so you just put it to the side then i don't want it to pop much more than my old school payloads here so now I'm going to reduce the opacity just to give it a dim look in my design. So you can see, amazing. So you, you hold Alt, click, drag it to the other side. So you have like two on your design. So you can see, wow, amazing, amazing, amazing. So now, Basically, you type in, there's another style I want to bring in this into my design. I'll still apply my blend mode screen. So you can see, you can play around with it. Look for where you can place this. You can reduce the opacity and apply anything that can make your design pop so i want to place it here because the reflection to pop i duplicate the other side you can see how amazing this looks so you type in the remaining details of your design so basically these are the tips that i have for you today can see what we just applied here we applied different fonts at least you know some fonts that you can use and how to clip your image into your text and how to blend in creating your background yourself and using simple fonts simple colors that can match your subjects and give you a wonderful design so you can go ahead and complete the design this is the end part of the design what's the name and the location date you can see amazing design so hope you learned something today thanks for hanging out and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tips like this on Photoshop and other platforms like TikTok. Follow me on TikTok. And don't forget to like, share, and most especially subscribe. See you next time, guys.